This video will show you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray or an out of paper message displays on your computer or your printer when you do have paper loaded into the printer. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, go to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the back of the printer. Wait 30 seconds, then plug the power cord back in. If the printer does not turn on automatically, go to the front of the printer and then press the power button to turn the printer on. Try printing a self-test page. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to be fed into the printer. First, remove the paper from the input tray. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets of paper in the paper stack. The printer may hold more sheets of paper, but this number of pages is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type. Then, tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load the paper and adjust the guides so they're snug against the stack. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you're trying to use. On your computer, open a document in the program you're printing from. Click File, click Print, and then click Properties. When the Properties dialog box opens, find the Paper Type drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper type. Find the Size drop-down menu and choose the appropriate paper size. Click OK and click OK again to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from paper dust, ink, and oil from your fingers. In this step, we'll clean them. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean, lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, and clean water to dampen the cloth. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Go to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Remove the printer's rear access door. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Use your finger to turn the rollers toward the printer. Make sure you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the roller. Look for the paper pick rollers farther inside the rear of the printer. Clean the rollers with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. These rollers are difficult to reach, but are very important to clean. If these rollers inside the printer are not cleaned, this problem will continue because these are the rollers that feed paper into the printer. While the rear access door is off, check the rollers on the door. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could mean the rollers aren't feeding paper and that the rear access door needs to be replaced. Reinsert the printer's rear access door. Plug the power cord back in. 
and go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Load paper into the input tray. Try printing a self-test page again. On the printer control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While holding the cancel button, press the start copy black button. Release both buttons. If the test page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.